What's going on YouTube? Back with another video and today I just want to say Happy Father's Day to all the fathers out there. If you're celebrating with your family, your loved ones, your kids, um, just want to say Happy Father's Day first and foremost uh, to all my subscribers and to anyone who's new to my channel. Today I'm going to be reviewing a particular product I bought off Amazon. This is for the people who are out there who've been kind of thinking about buying a workstation or a work stand for their bike more so for those who are new to mountain biking or just biking in general or cycling um, when you first get into this this hobby or this sport uh, a lot of times people think you know do i really need a work stand for my bike or can i just do it with a kickstand or can i just do it against can i just do it with the bike you know leaning up against the wall when you're actually working on it and actually you can do all three i've actually worked on my bike you know with it leaning up against the wall with a kickstand and with um, this work stand that I'm going to review today and also the uh, storage stand I've actually worked on my bike as well but here's the thing if you're new to if you're new to the sport if you're new to cycling or biking um, you are going to eventually need a stand probably not so much in the beginning just because you're probably not going to know a lot about components you're probably not going to know a lot about how to fix things or how to work on certain things and so more than likely you're probably going to be taking it back to the store that you bought it from or your local bike shop to get it repaired or fixed but as you start to you know get into the sport more and as time goes by you are going to start learning these things because you know instead of paying 10 to 20 dollars to get a tire fixed you're probably going to you know go on youtube and learn how to change a tire uh, you know, same thing with changing out pedals or switching out your chain or, you know, cleaning your bike or whatever the case may be. So, yes, I do recommend a stand. You're probably not going to know or realize that you need it at first, but eventually over time you will, um, you will probably need a work stand for your bike. And so here's the thing. There's a lot of stands out there and there's a lot of them that are very expensive. I almost went out there in the beginning and bought a park tool stand. I was going to pay like $300 for used. And um, more the, the, the more expensive stands that you see out there, those, those um, workstations for your bikes, you know, those are really good name brands like Park Tool, for example, and they hold up forever. I mean, you see ones that's back from the 80s and 90s that are still selling for at least half of retail of what they cost back then because they're just durable, good stands. The stand that I'm going to review today was only 70 bucks, so it's a cheap stand. Um, I've had no problems with it. It's done everything that I needed to do, and it's just as good. I don't know long term how durable it's going to be, but for 60 to 70 bucks, you just can't you can't beat it. So what I'm going to do is show you what I have. I'm going to kind of show you how it works. I have um, a bike that I'm going to put on the stand for you, and, and, and you can see all of the different things you can do with it. And so, yeah, I'll put the link in the description below, and let's check out the stand. So here it is, guys. This is the, and I, I want to make sure that I pronounce this correctly, but it's by Song Mix. I think it's called Song Mix. It's S O N G M I C S. And if you just put type that into the search on Amazon, you will see different ones that they actually make. But this particular one in general is pretty much only thing that I needed. And again, this was like $71 or $75. And um very very durable, very reliable. Um it actually has a uh little workstation area right here where you can put screws or um, you know some of your tools that you may use your hex wrenches or whatever the case may be it also has the um, rubberized uh, grip section right here which is like a soft plastic but it's kind of has a rubbery feel to it I'm not sure if it's actually rubber or not but it feels like rubber anyway um, so it won't scratch up your bike and basically I'm just going to show you guys how this works So basically you can tighten the grip this way just by screwing this in where the bike would actually fit. You can loosen it by turning it the other way. Um, you can extend this arm out with this grip right here. So if I need to go you know, a little bit further out or if I need to you know, make it closer in, I can do it that way as well. You just tighten this area. It's not going to go anywhere. This thing tightens really really good you have your easy release lock right here to go up or down the telescoping so 
if you want it to go down this way you can or if you want it to go up higher uh, you can do it that way as well and then you have more one more quick release at the bottom which extends up and down as well um, of course you have your four legs uh, they're retractable so for easy storage you can retract these and it's um, not that difficult to do you just push in makes it very very easy to store in your garage or somewhere in the corner So basically any position you need the bike in, this bike stand can actually put it in that position. You can turn it upside down if you wanted to. If you just need to work on it from this angle, let's say you're messing with the chain or you're dealing with some internal routing or whatever the case may be, the derailleur, easy access here. The bike stand can put it in any position that you may need the bike in. So yes, yeah, a decent, easy um, setup stand. Um, you know, for the price, I, I think it's really good. And again, you do have a little place to, to hold your tools. And it also has um, little sections in here with holes to put certain screws, nuts, bolts, whatever the case may be, or hang some of your tools if that's the case. Um, but either way, it's a pretty decent stand for the price. Again, I don't think you can beat it um, as far as uh, the quality is concerned. Again, I keep mine indoors. I don't keep it outdoors. It's never been rained on or anything like that. So I don't know about rust protection or how it would hold up over time in severe weather. But as far as um, just, you know, your standard use indoors, I don't see how this thing will ever rust or, you know, start to corrode. So I'll put a link in the description below. Again, the name of it or the, the brand of it is Song Mix or song mics s-o-n-g-m-i-c-s has uh, 303 reviews and 4.6 out of 5 stars and uh, currently right now it's $74 and again you know if you check Amazon on a regular basis a lot of these prices go up and down a few bucks daily so um, I think I pay like 75 for it total so but other than that guys I uh, hope you enjoyed the, the review hope you enjoyed the video again happy Father's Day I'll check you out in the next video peace